our chromatography lab. Um, let me go over the materials and then I will go over the steps on how to do each. So you will have two different colors of vials, um, blue-green algae, maybe kind of hard to see, and then you'll have another one of spinach extract. Okay. Um, before you do any of your testing, we're actually going to have a sample of just some food coloring and everyone in the group will do a sample and I have small little squares that look like this. This is TLC, thin layer chromatography plates, but when you actually run your test, there will be long strips like this. Okay? And the way I'm giving those to you is in a small Ziploc bag and this is how you will turn it in. So each group will have two of these. Now I'm not sure if you could tell, but the plates, they are shiny on one side. I'm not sure if you can see it's shiny. And the other side is dull. And this is the side that we apply to the dull side. So you'll do your pencil drawing on this side and you'll apply the extract to this side. If you try to put it on the shiny, it just roll right off. So, um, some other pieces of equipment you'll need. You'll have a tube, it looks like this, and it's just to hold the glass capillary tubes. And this is what we're going to practice with. So if you can tell, it's just a piece of thin glass, okay? And you use it once and then you throw it away. So don't use it between. So we've got six in each vial. So if you have three people in your group, you'll use three and then one for algae and one for spinach. Okay, then you'll have a jar where you will get your chromatography solvent out of. Okay, you will have two 100 milliliter beakers and you're going to label one algae and one spinach. And then you have two watch glasses. You'll use this a lot in chemistry. But all we're going to do is we're simply going to put this on top while we're waiting because the solvent can evaporate really, really easily and we don't want it to evaporate before the test is done. Okay, so one thing that you'll be doing is you will be putting the chromatography solvent into your beakers. Okay, and you only put 2 ml and that's all you need to put. So I'm going to give you a graduated pipette and you've used these before, okay and I'm sure you can't see it on the, the um, video, but the 1 ml is almost to the bulb, and so you'll just pull that up out of the chromatography solvent and then put it into your beaker. It looks like you won't have much in the bottom of the beaker, but the plates are small, and we want it to absorb up and separate the pigments. So that's kind of the big supplies. Of course, you'll have a more detailed list when you're actually doing the lab. Okay, now to use the capillary tube. We'll have a little block here that we're going to put our vials in, less likely for it to spill. Our capillary tube is open on both ends, and so there's no bulb. So to draw up the liquid, we're going to put it in the solution. Now you notice I'm not putting my finger on it. Once it's in the bottom, the reason it's called capillary, it's going to be drawn up the tube. We put our finger on the one end. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you will leave your finger on the end throughout the entire process. Now we're going to go to our TLC paper, thin layer chromatography paper, and by this time you should have drawn a pencil line at the bottom. Now you're going to have some flaking where it was cut. Um, remember, dull side up, shiny side down. So it needs to be about a 0.5 centimeter from one end. Now, I still have my finger on the capillary tube. I never take it off and I'm going to find the center of that line and I'm going to gently touch, not taking my finger off, and there's my first drop. And you can blow on it if you want to to help it dry. It's got an acetone so it will evaporate rather quickly. I still have my finger on the end of the tube. I will touch again. There's drop two. I'll wait for it to dry. I will keep this process until I have a total of eight drops, laying it one on top of each other um, so it can be concentrated so that when it diffuses up, it can separate. Okay? And if you need to get some more of the pigment, then just repeat the process of putting the capillary tube in with your finger off 
and then drawing it up and then keep your finger on it throughout the entire test. Okay? If I'm going to show you what would happen if you took your finger off and then you touch, so I have my finger off, okay? Now watch what will happen and it all comes out. If it gets too large, okay, um, one thing that could happen is that it could all diffuse down into the chromatography solvent instead of going up and separating. The other thing you need to do is you got to make sure that this paper when you put it in that the spot you made that's on the pencil line is not in the solvent. Okay, so you're just going to kind of read the directions and go from there. That should do it.